Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Praise the Lord and welcome to this time of uh, morning devotion. And today to lead you is Reverend Judy Carre, one of your pastors at Sitam Eldoret. And today I want to speak about a topic uh, or a number of topics that I think are very important to our work in the Christian faith. I'm going to talk about maturing or growing strong in our faith. There are two ways in which Christians can be seen or can live their Christian life. You can be you can live a weak Christian life or a stagnated or a plateaued Christian life, but you can also grow. We many times refer to Christians who are mature in their faith. And Many times I think that we can misunderstand that word maturity. We many times refer to maturity in terms of how people pray or how people uh, quote scripture as we see that as maturity or how people minister or uh, share the word as maturity. But the Bible clearly in Romans chapter 8 verse 29 speaks as uh, about maturity as growing into the image and likeness of Christ. The Bible says, actually Paul writes to the Roman church and says that God predestined before the foundations of the world that those who come to Christ will be like Christ. So for us to be termed as mature Christians, we need to look like Christ. Okay, so maturity in the Christian faith or growing strong, when we say someone is strong, a strong Christian, we, this should refer, according to the Bible, to being more and more like Christ. So as we're growing in our faith, we are becoming more and more like Christ. Okay, talking more and more like Christ, acting more and more like Christ, having attitudes that are more and more like Christ, Okay, and even our obedience, our relationship with God is more and more like Christ. So maturity is being more and more like Christ. How do we become more and more like Christ? I know God has said that he predestined, he planned before the foundations of the earth that we be like Christ. But this does not just happen. It takes work, okay? The Bible says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. 1 Timothy 4 verse 7 says, discipline yourself for the purpose of godliness. Discipline, when, it talk, when the Bible talks about discipline, or when we talk about discipline, it is work. It takes our personal effort. There is a, a part for us to play. And today, uh, through this series, I will focus on the disciplines what do we need to do to mature in our faith? What do we need to do to grow so that we can be referred to as mature Christians? How uh, can we become strong? Okay, so when we are looking for leaders in the church, we look for strong Christians. We look for mature Christians. In um, Acts chapter 6, we see a time when the church reached a point where they needed leaders. And Paul, uh, the, the, the apostles, sorry, Paul was not there then. The apostles said, we need spirit-filled, actually being led by Peter. He said, look for spirit-filled men. And that was not even people who were teaching the word. They were not people who were leading in prayer necessarily, but they were serving tables because they were quarreling in the church in, in, in the book of Acts where they were quarreling that the, the, the Grecian Jews, those who had uh, come from diaspora, who had left Israel, they were not being treated well 
as well as the, the, the widows of Jewish Christians who were living in Israel. They were being mistreated. You know, the Grecian Jews, those who were from diaspora were saying, our widows are not being treated right in terms of food, in terms of care. And the apostles decided that we were going, they were going to look for spirit-filled men. And they got, can you imagine, Stephen was one of them. Philip was the other, spirit-filled men. They were thinking they were just getting men who were going to serve, uh, take care of these widows. But God was taking the church to a higher level. God was looking for men to take his church to a higher level because God was taking now the church from Jerusalem to the other parts of the, of, of the world, Judea, Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the world, which we see Stephen being instrumental and Philip being instrumental in that. So we are going to look at the spiritual disciplines that will help us to grow strong, to be mature Christians. Master, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want to thank you. Thank you, Lord, that God, you are calling us to a life of godliness. And you have said in the, from the book of Peter that you have given us all we need for life and godliness. And Lord, through as we go through the scriptures, Lord, we see laid out for us everything that we need, oh dear Father, for us to live holy lives and godly lives that are pleasing to you. Lord, as we go through this series, my prayer is that, Lord, we are going to put into practice this that, Lord, you have laid in my heart that your people may learn. But God, you've said in your word that, God, we should not just be hearers, but doers of your word, of those who obey. Help us, Lord, to be people who obey your word, who act that which we hear you speaking to us about. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidham Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidham Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidham.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.